It must have been about 67, 68, 1960. I was one wonderful summer morning, right at the top of James Street, by the tube station, looking down James Street into Covent Garden. And I thought, wow, this is a fantastic place. I knew Covent Garden, I'd been going through it for years, but suddenly I saw it differently. And I thought, I've got to work here. I've got to... I just loved the way people move. I loved the interaction between produce, money and people. And, and the work that, you know, and that whole thing of connecting with people. And so I began to photograph. And I've just developed this whole love of the marketplace. It was out in the open, a lot of it. It wasn't such an enclosed thing. There were streets and, of course, all the shops, or all the uh, uh, wholesalers had their wares out into the street. So, of course, it meant that it was out there in all weathers. And I think this was one of the keys that the old market, the people of the market was, that I wasn't what they called a fair weather photographer. I was there in the pissing rain. I was there on cold, snowy mornings. I was there when it was just plain miserable, as well as the wonderful sunshine. What was so wonderful, it was just being in that sort of the whole sort of camaraderie of the people that were working there and the exchange of goods and exchange of money and the banter and the pubs and you know um, where they could leave a barrow outside go in and have a quick and out again. When this market flew, this flower market opened 45 years ago you had a lot of single family businesses single men wholesalers in their little stores and of course as the florists and the flower shops disappeared they were not able to make a living so of course they began to coalesce together and now you have um, uh, about 15 main flower people What we do have to remember, and we have to face up to this fact, is that, of course, the market has changed dramatically over the last 45 years. Um, I think it was something like, on the fruit and vegetable side, I think there was something like 800 wholesalers, or thereabouts. Now we're down to about 17. You cannot work in a place coming in with all guns blazing without knowing them. The moment people are confronted with a strange camera, they stiffen up, they change, and it can be a very subtle change, but it is a change. I have this insatiable appetite for creation, this insatiable appetite for people and community, an insatiable appetite for light. And I want to, and that's why I'm a photographer, I want to say, look at this, and bang, look at this wonderful picture, look at the way they do it, look at the light, look at the colours. And of course, now that I'm towards the end of my life, you know, I can look back and think, if I could have only seen then what I know now, I want these pictures to go on long after I'm gone. And so one is thinking about, I want to show it as it really was, and to get that feeling and that atmosphere. But the extraordinary thing is that I know that the ordinary pictures that I'm doing today, as they were 50 years ago in the old market, are going to become extraordinary. They're going to say, Really? Was it really like that in 50 years' time?
click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.